Well, this is what we're going to build today. I believe it's called a Broadman uh, hive feeder. I'm new to beekeeping, so I'm not real sure that's right. But, uh, you know, so I'm having to build everything that I need to do this. And it just uh, fits right into the front like that. And I built this um, hive, and so the, the, the size is a little different than what you might find if you were going to try to buy one of these. So I wanted to make one to fit in there, and plus, you know, it didn't really cost me anything um, to do that. So uh, anyway, let's uh, get into the shop, and I'll show you uh, how I made it. This is a two and three quarter hole saw, and this is a uh, one by six. Well, I would use a one by six if I didn't have this. This is actually, um, you know, a one by six is actually five and a half inches wide this is um five and an eighth wide just a piece of scrap i had laying around so i did put a center line down the middle of it and while i've still got it long i'm going to go ahead and drill my hole out Okay, I cut it off to five and a quarter inches. If it was five and a half this way, I'd have probably done five and a half this way. Now my hole is just a little bit, it's just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna sand it until it fits. Um, if I didn't have a sander like this, I would just use some sandpaper or a file, or I could um, get a slightly bigger hole saw that would fit this a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Okay, so now I've got to draw out where I'm going to put my strips around here, and I'm trying to fit a door. This is the front of my beehive right here, and it's three inches wide. So, uh, you know, the, the opening to your hive is probably going to be a different size than that, so that's going to, you know, adjust accordingly for what you need. But this is a strip that's three-eighths tall because that'll just fit into my opening of my hive. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and draw. It's 3 8 tall and it's half inch wide. I'm just gonna use it and draw all the way around. And then this is gonna be the part that goes toward the hive. And so I need a three inch opening in there. Or I need to put, I need my bars to go at three inches. So one, two, three, right there. Just measuring how far off this is. So I can draw some straight lines. is I want these to stick into my hive about three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna cut them about an inch and three quarter. I'm gonna cut two of these inch and three quarter. Okay, so this is inch and three quarters and I've marked it one inch in and I'm gonna lay it on this line here where this is our three inch opening. Next, I'm just going to cut more strips to go all the way around like that. Now, I cut these on a table saw. They're half inch wide and three eighths of an inch deep. And you know, if you don't have a table saw, you could just stack you up some popsicle sticks until you get to three eighths. Let's see how many of that is. Yeah, well, there you go. Four of those popsicle sticks equals three eighths. And you could just put glue in between those and use those to frame around this. And you can actually cut these individually. You can just cut them with a pair of scissors. Now, while that's drying, I'm gonna start working on the, the bottom piece. And I'm making it out of aluminum flashing. This You can get this like at Home Depot, it comes in a roll. Um, it's just real thin aluminum, and I've cut a piece off of there. You can actually cut this with just a pair of scissors. 
But I've cut a piece that's wide enough to fit the bottom like that. Like that. And just mark it. And then boy, you just barely see that line, and then just cut it off. It's been a couple of hours, and so this is now pretty much dry. Now I'm just taking some rough sandpaper, and I'm sanding these edges just to smooth them up some. All right, we're just going to get this aluminum put on here. Just taking a stapler with some 3 8 staples in it. And that's got our bottom in. The last thing we've got to do is get the holes punched in our lid. Alright, here's our lid. And this is just a number four finish nail. And what I'm going to do is just go around with this tack hammer and just knock some tiny little holes in there. Well, up close it looks like a bigger hole, but it's just a tiny little hole. And there it is with all the holes in it. Well, that's got it finished. All I need now is some bees. Hope you enjoyed the project. Thank you for watching.